Hi, this is Manoj Mittal. So in this video, I'm going to talk about M365 Copilot agent extensibility. The use case I have taken here, we, are, we have received a lot of log and auditing data which exists into the SQL server, Azure SQL server. And with the help of prompt in M365 Copilot chat via the agent, we need to get the response back. So here you can see very high level architecture diagram and footprint of the comp components as an <clears throat> which has used in this uh, demo so we have m365 copilot which is uh, going to use as a chat interface for the agent copilot studio is used in the back end which where we have done all the configurations to connect knowledge source as a microsoft graph so microsoft graph here you can see which is used and exist in m365 it's going to connect with the azure sql here we have used the entra microsoft entra for authorizations right so this is the very high level architecture let's see in actions how we can achieve this so I navigated to the Azure SQL. Here is a database created in uh, like Azure DB. And here is a table name IT underscore audit. So there are few columns has created here with a, a, the few records. So approximately uh, like we have a 50 records has created. So objective, let's uh, sync it, this data with a uh, via the graph connector and search the results into the Copilot Studio agent via the agents. So, yep, this data is there. Let's uh, uh, navigate to the search. So, I logged into the admin.microsoft.com, click on the search section, and it comes under the setting pan. So, click on the data source. So, here let's click on the add connection. So as we see at connection, we can search for the SQL here. So this is the Azure SQL. So as I selected the Azure SQL, it will open the pan where we can add the more detail uh, here. Okay, let's try one more time. Yep, it's Azure SQL. We see, let's go next, click on next. Yep, it start appearing. So let's give the some name to this one as it's just a SQL graph connector. Right. So <clears throat> some sort of uh, the detail of the, the database detail server name or the IP address database name all need to give. Let's navigate to back here to the DB. Click on the overview sections. Click OK. So here is the server name. Let's copy this, go back, give the server name here. And what we have the DB name we can get from here. It's a DB name audit DB. So let's type it audit DB, right? So what authentications mode? We have basic and auth 2.0 client credentials. Let's select this one. Now uh, we need to provide the client ID and client secrets. For that, we need to navigate to the Azure AD instance and need to create client ID, client secret, right? For this, <coughs> I have navigated to the Azure portal and the Azure AD instance, and I have already created the app registration. So I will just give the walkthrough what the configurations I have done here. So, yep, this is as created as part of authentications. So it's, uh, it's, it's, a uh, <coughs> the out of the box with setting is coming no changes is required we can create the secret as I have created earlier let's create uh, the secret here which we are going to use it update credentials okay let's see here just for the 90 days it's a random okay let's fix it so i deleted the existing one and let's create a new one Click on add by default it will take the descriptions now this is very important I just put it in my notepad as a safer site right. so another section is a uh, API permissions and the API permissions we need to give the Azure SQL database access so how it will come click on the add permissions under api my organizations use here we can select azure sql database which is coming up right once you select it will start appearing here then grant 
uh, admin consent for this so that's all we need so now we have let's collect the client id from here we navigate back to uh, craft connector i provided the client id similarly let's provide the client secret what we have added just uh, click on authorize take a couple of seconds it will validate your credentials what we have created in the azure ad instance yep it's successfully created so select this one and now next navigate to the next tab which is a connect here we need to provide the select query here yeah, so i have all this column name exists audit date audit name audit ids uh, and the other columns and then important section from the it or underscore audit table name where audit id is greater than watermark so that is very much is required for the keep updating the <coughs> uh, right index data so select the watermark column type it's a int let's click on preview let's see the result type your data is appearing fine the watermark column name we have audit id so we are going to select uh, the unique key so this we have id now let's come to the manage uh, property sections right so content property is always like where we have a large data access so there is a column comment which is having is going to select it as a uh, the content property here now let's once we come back on the noun we need to select at least one column as a uh, semantic label as a title right let's select it this one make it search queryable save it similarly we can make it queryable retrievable to the all the columns right so if we hit so result should start appearing for this so let's make it that's fine content we have others also Yeah, similarly i did for all now for the incremental sync query so we can provide the same query which we have used watermark columns we can provide preview we can get the data back here yeah this fine watermark column name audit id this is fine now let's come to the user so yeah we can use only the specific user who is having access to this data source that can be configured but as part of this demo i will use the everyone not the limited one right and then on the sync here yeah, so we can use the default uh, sync as of now let's click on create so uh, syncing is taking uh, some time we can click on done and proceed so in the meantime let's navigate to the copilot studio.microsoft.com select the copilot microsoft 365 right and then click on the agent and create the so as i click on add agent here let's provide it uh, sql audit so we are going to create a audit log right audit log agent yeah let's add more detail i provided this prompt let it create yep so we are good let's click on create yeah so now agent has created with the name details instructions so we are good let's add the knowledge so as i add the knowledge here we select the advanced sections here it shows as your sql let's select the database which so as i selected the database is creating the connection yeah it start appearing the knowledge base what we have selected click on publish yeah once publish complete it will start appearing in copilot studio like that what the agent we have created let's tested this one so i will just give the one simple prompt list down the audit log which data loss during migrations as i hit enter let's see what's the results comes by this audit log manager okay so it start giving eight results so let's validate 
few so as the result id is one which is having 13 id 60 13 50 okay let's go with what we have asked the data loss right so okay so data loss we have here so data loss we have here data loss there are data loss we have here also so the results which is appeared as the number 13 50 38 28 number one number one is also having the results is appeared so result it start appearing it can be do the more formatting based on uh, the prompt itself right thanks for watching if you find the content useful please do like comment and subscribe thank you